Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Amuse Cinematography, a place where you can level up your mobile VFX editing skills and also amazing short films. We want to help you master this mobile VFX editor. So we just started a Node Video Professional Lesson course on Patreon at a very affordable price. Whether you're a beginner or not, this course is designed to level up your mobile editing expertise. We will be teaching you actively and take each step slowly for you to easily understand Node Video Editor. And most importantly, have fun leveling up. So over here we have the settings, the import, where it can import your saved Node Video projects. And we also have the beginner mode. It helps you to process your video based on edited template. So let's begin as we click on this plus icon that says new. So first I'm going to explain to you Node Video editing interface. Node Video have five editing panel. On our left hand side, we have the effect control panel. This panel allows you to adjust or transform and animate your effects, text and video clip using keyframe. It gives you precise control over the properties of the effects applied to your layers. And next we have the composition window. This is where your editing work will be displayed to you. Thirdly, we have the composition panel. This is where your imported image, text, video, and audio will be displayed to you. Fourthly, we have the editing timeline. The editing timeline allows you to view and arrange video clips, trim, cut, and edit clips to adjust timing. And lastly, we have the tools bar. This where you'll find the bookmark, zoom tool, previous, next, play button, export, and home. A quick explanation on how this tools works. By clicking on the bookmark, it helps you to mark and easily locate certain areas in your video frame that you have marked. The zoom tool allows you to stretch your video clip, therefore helping you to focus on specific areas of your composition. The previous button icon over here helps you to gradually move your video clip frame by frame. The next button icon helps you to quickly jump to marked frames or keyframes on your video clip. So let's proceed by clicking on the plus icon to add our projects file here. We have import, 3D, fill, adjustment layer, shape, text 3D, text, group, and media. I will explain each function in more detail as we go through this lesson series together. So the media, provide options where you can separately add video and image. Extract audio from video and also load from file. The load from file allows you to import audio, video, image, and zip file to your projects. Let's add video by clicking on the video tab. Now that the video is added, let's click on the play button to review video. Depending on how large the video size is, Node Video may start rendering the video clip before playing it properly. You can reduce the preview quality to 10 or 25% in order to make your video clip render faster. Once it's finished renders, click on the play button again to experience a smooth video playback. The stretch icon over here allow you to easily apply speed or slow motion to your video clip. The higher the number percent, the slower your video becomes. and the lower the number percent, the faster your video clip becomes. The arrows on the left side is called the undo button. It allows you to reverse a mistake made during editing process. The second arrow on the right side is also called the redo, it's also allow you to reapply changes or items you have deleted. Over here, we have the basic transform tab. It's allow you to reposition and increase the size of your video clip. The pivot is a point that acts as the center of rotation, scaling and effects for a layer. It is used to control where transformations occur on a layer. 
By adjusting the pivot point, you can change the point around which a layer rotates or scales, allowing for more precise control over animations and effects. By adjusting the opacity of a layer, you can make it more transparent or dim, allowing you to create effects like fading in or fade out. By clicking on this box icon, the basic transformation switches to 3D Transformation tab. The 3D Transform tab allows you to manipulate layers in three dimensions. This feature enables you to rotate, scale, and position layers in 3D space. Click on the box icon again to return to basic transformation. The More functions also provide cool features like the link to, crop, motion blur, and tiling, which we will be learning about their functions soon. The Audio tab here allow you to reduce and increase the volume of a video clip. The audio beat help you to mark beat points to your audio or video clip. The clock over here represents keyframe. A keyframe is a point in time that allow you to create animations over time. Here's a practical example. Now let's create a fade in effects to our video clip. First, click on the plus icon to add a keyframe point. Next, add another point to where you want your animations to end. Now by reducing the opacity of the video clip on the first points and increasing the opacity back to 100% on the second point helps you to create a fade-in animation to your video clip. Click on this arrow icon to hide and reveal video timeline. Now let's click on the plus icon as we go to media file to add audio. Click on the arrow button to reveal audio timeline and click on the root icon to reveal multiple timeline. You can also split your media file by clicking on the scissors icon. The end to end space represent the missing clip that was splitted. You can also drag your video clip left or right to adjust layer composition. Drag the audio clip by the edge in other to trim. Now here's a video playback on our workflow so far. By clicking on these icon over here, it enables you to increase the size of your display screen. Every day I miss you in the most ordinary ways. I always stop and wonder what would have happened if I stayed. You can also choose to add more audio to your video project. So without wasting time, let's click on the plus icon as we proceed. The group works like a folder that helps you to composite or store media file and effects layer in one place. Now let's add text to our video clip. So these are the available text properties. The font enables you to change and import a text looks. Click on the text to type in your title. The font style allows you to redesign your font looks. You can also increase or the reduce the size of your text. The dilate function expand the edges of the text characters, making them thicker or bolder. You can also choose to align your text in different position. We also have the spacing and the animation preset helps you to add in and out animation to your text, just like these. I will be making a separate tutorial on how the text animation preset really works. So let's skip and go to fill. The fill allows you to add color, gradient, and texture to your text. The style is where you can create your own designs to your text looks by using outline, glow, shadow, and bevel, just like these.
The margin allows you to mask your text using this four-point swing. Here's a practical example on how to use the margin to create a popular text animation. First, let's rename our project file by clicking on the pencil icon over here. Now gradually follow this simple steps as we begin. So here's a quick playback on the work done. Every day I miss you in the most ordinary ways. I always... You can always click on the question mark icon for more guidelines. Just like After Effects, you can also stretch or expand your editing panel for more easy editing experience with Node Video Editor. Let's stretch the text clip to match video clip. And next is the 3D text. The 3D text functions is also similar to the basic text function, but the 3D text allows you to rotate the text in 3D space. This icon over here provide options where you can delete, duplicate, cover to, saber or 3D, and many other amazing functions, which we will be learning all about in due time. Next, we have the shape effects. The shape effects allow you to create and modify shapes using shape tools and also pen tools. Adjustments layer allow you to apply effects, transformations, or color corrections to multiple video all at once. Node Video also has general fill where you can add different types of layer effects to your video clip. And also, the 3D store is where you can add or import 3D model to your video clip. As time goes on, we will be learning separately how to use this effects and functions together, only on Patreon. The import over here allows you to directly import template and previous video project file stored in Node Video Editor. Click on this arrow to export project. The resolution enables you to increase or reduce the size of your video clip or projects. The FPS, also known as frame per second, the common FPS values include 24, 30, and 60 FPS, but mostly, I normally live mine at 30 FPS, but in this video, I will live it at 60 FPS, and your quality should always be set to very high, but make sure you have enough storage on your smartphone during the export process. To avoid fail exportation, click on the play button to finally export projects. You can also choose to stop or pause your exportation process, and once it's done, you can directly choose to share your video project after exporting, but in this case, I will be watching mine. 
Every day I'm missing in the most ordinary ways. I always stop and wonder what would have happened if I stayed. So for now, that's the end of this basic tutorial and next we'll be discussing on other functions and how they work. So we look forward to seeing you continue your growth in Mastering Node Video Editor on Patreon where we'll be teaching you little by little on how certain functions and effects works in Node Video Editor at a very affordable price such as $1 and $3 on how to use Node Video to make good mobile VFX editing. See you next time. Peace.